guys welcome back to fiber theory today I want to teach you guys how to make something called the seed stitch and it goes like this first you have to have your hook and some yarn let's get started go ahead and make your slip knot now chain about 10 now the seed stitch and the moss stitch are very similar to each other if you look for other moss stitch videos, a lot of them will show you how to make a moss stitch very similar to the way I'm making the seed stitch. So don't let it confuse you. Okay, so the seed stitch is super, super easy. You're gonna go ahead and make a single crochet in the very first space next to your hook and finish off the single crochet. Next, in the next space over, you're gonna make a double crochet. make a single crochet in the next space. Make a double crochet in the next space. So what you have is a variation of single crochets and double crochets. So it's a single, a double, a single, a double, a single, a double. And you're gonna do this all the way to the very end stitch and it does not matter what stitch you end with, whether you end with a double or a single, all that matters is what you do after you turn your work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end with a single on this one. If you made more and you ended with a double, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what to do. If you ended with a single, crochet, chain two. If you ended with a double, chain one. In this example, I ended with a single crochet, so I'm going to chain two. Now ignoring this post and the space below it, we're going to work into the next space over on top of the second post. Okay, now as you'll notice, I want you guys to see what this pattern is doing. It looks like there's a little bump here and then it kind of goes down and then there it goes back up and makes a bump and comes down so it looks like some of these spaces are raised and some are lower. Do you see the difference? The spaces that are higher are the double crochets from the row before. The spaces that are lower are the single crochets from the row before. In order to make the seed stitch and keep with the pattern, you need to make sure that you know which space is which. It just so happens that this particular one right here that I have was the double crochet. I need to make a single crochet into the top of the double. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The next space over was a single crochet. So I'm going to make a double crochet in top of the single crochet space. The next one over is a double crochet space. I'm going to make a single crochet in this space here. The next one over was the single crochet. I will make a double crochet in this space. So as you'll notice, what you're doing is making the opposite stitch of what you made before. If you're working inside of a double crochet, you're gonna make a single crochet in the top. If you're working inside of a single crochet, you're gonna make a double crochet in the top. This one here was a double crochet. I'm gonna make a single. This one here was a single. I'm gonna make a double. This here was a double, I'm going to make a single. This very last one at the end was a single, and I'm going to make a double. And that's all there is to it. When you turn your work again, you're going to do the exact same thing all over again throughout the entire pattern. There is no deviating from the pattern. It's exactly the same every row. <clears throat> if you end with a double crochet, you're going to chain one. If you end with a single crochet, you're going to chain two. Because remember, you want the two chains to act as a double crochet on top of the single crochet before you turn your work. Okay, you turn your work and you just go right back in to following that same exact pattern. 
Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can always ask below the video. And I hope you guys have a great day and talk to you later.